What's up, brownies, ponies, coats, and fruits, and other creatures? My name is Charles Manulis, and today, first time ever. This is actually the first vlog where I actually am in a new park, actually. It's very funny. But today, we're at Heidi Park. Just the first looks, it looks like extremely beautiful. But, of course, with anything else except Disneyland, I am not alone. And who do I have with me? It's me again. Yeah, Charlie so is back. Of course he is. What the hell is that? <laughs> well, but yeah, today we're in Heidi Park. Uh, you have been here before. I have been here before, in fact, two, two times. Yeah, you have uh, ex really been here many times. Yeah. Uh, we think we're gonna head over to uh, Colossus first, actually. Yeah, to hopefully. <laughs> to hopefully times are horrible. Yeah, to, to hopefully beat the crowd. The park has just opened five minutes ago or something. Oh, that's the bro! Look at that dude! But yeah, oi, dancing! Yeah, this is gonna be so exciting. I can't wait. I. It is gonna be a great time. Holy shit, Kage is the Oh, oh, wait, 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 it that was. was so crazy. Much better than I would ever imagine. I would say the big hills uh, didn't give as much airtime as I thought it would. And the uh, and the smaller hills actually give more airtime than I thought it would. So it's like <laughs> this double thing where I thought some of it would be worse and some of it would be better. And then which was the opposite. Pretty polarizing expectations. Yeah, <laughs> it's very funny. But like in general, that's crazy. The first drop is probably the second. I still prefer Phoenix Double. At full of Summerland, it, it's, but, it's steeper. But yeah, the, this is definitely longer and has that up going after it. But I think like the first stop is, um, is definitely more well, intense. I haven't tried it, so I cannot give my opinion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, like this one is great. I love the fr I love the ejector that you get on the big Camelbacks, the floater on the smaller. It's great, like this, and it's the turnaround all the way over there in the back. That is in the bottom, it's so intense. Mm -hmm. Like, and that was basically uncomfortable because there's not a lot of padding in those seats. I would say, other than that moment, it isn't super intense for me like, in the positive G's uh, direction, but like everything uh, in the airtime department, it definitely goes much better than anything else. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not gonna rank it yet because I really don't know. Oh, cool. That looks so gorgeous. That's a race has 10 minutes. 10 minutes. That's uh, good enough. I know you can't see yeah, it. That's in... good. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. But yeah, I that doesn't really fill the times very accurately yeah. after all. But yeah, Colossus is a great ride and so good. And I was very, I was worried that this would disappoint me. It definitely didn't, and I legit love it so much. The ring man, yeah, but it's Oh shit, the camera's on. Yeah, it's just launch the first video. Well, it's a movie about Lupio. Det er jo nogle gæster nok synes, hvor hun spørger. Nej, jeg ved det ikke. Jeg gæster, vi kan altid hoppe ind i køen igen. Ja, så må vi bare tage den, hvor vi får den. Alright, så vi har prøvet Dazzle Race. This was actually very good. Uh, the intense on that launch cannot be matched by anything. Maybe later, uh, two weeks from now. Where we're going into uh, Hunter Park with Flug von Novgorod. I think you don't mean two days. Two days then, if you need to be like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, two days we're going into Hi Hunter Park, where we're of course going to try uh, Flug von Novgorod, which has yeah. one of the most po powerful launches 
in all of the world. So that is cool. Wait, but that, oh crap, I didn't even know that. <laughs> but yeah, that, this is great. The, it, it is very intense uh, in between. And it has some uh, good air time on the first and the third hill. I won't say it, we'll say um, the second hill actually disappointed me a little. It was very weak floater. Mm -hmm. But like the other one was straight up ejector, especially the last one. That was great. Yeah. Maybe, true. I don't know if this is a cursor that warms up, but uh, yeah. And yeah, and the last hill with the brakes on is actually also pretty decent yeah. uh, with some good floater there as well. <laughs> Yeah, this is overall a great coaster, and I really enjoyed it. It was great. Not as good as Colossus at all. <laughs> yeah, Colossus but yeah, it was very good either way. We just tried Toxic Gardens. Um, yeah, it was definitely as rough as people said. My head is, or my ears at least, is definitely hurting right now. Yeah. But even though this is so extremely intense, especially the first inversion over there. Yeah. It's incredible how intense this coaster is. It's almost, it's almost unbelievable how how extremely intense this coaster is. Well, what are your thoughts on it? Um, it's well, my thoughts on it have, has always been the same. It's um, everything is great about it except that it's not good. <laughs> um, yeah. that's, a, that's, that's about it. Like the, the theme is awesome. The uh, theme, even the, the music, is awesome. Yeah. I, I I really like that one. Um, the, the purple supports for it. They. I, li I like it way more. I li it, it, they yeah, it looks good. I, I, I would give it that. Yeah, and and it, and it fits in with the Transylvania theme now. Like now you have this great mansion, and this is um, and that's and that's the front yard where they're growing. Yeah, exactly. Um, horrible plants. Like if we if we take the roughness aside, then this ride is great. Yeah. Like it, I I really want to try the Great Nor'easter now, <laughs> because if I can have that that coaster without the roughness, that will be an amazing coaster. I will say it's probably gonna go high anyway because of the intensity. I'm gonna try to like sort it out in my rankings later. Yeah. But yeah, that Taxi Garden is great. Yeah. We're gonna try Bubba now. It depends on the queue, but it didn't have one queue, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So yeah, let's try Bubba next. Oh. All right, so uh, Bubba has a very long queue right now. Yeah, so I think so. So he chose to take a Screamy, and then the big boy Scream up there. If you guys know anything about me, I, it is that I hate drop towers. And if anyone knows anything about me, it's that I love these things. Yeah. He loves drop towers, I hate them. I am gonna go up in it. Uh, and probably regret it later. But uh, I have tried a drop tower that tires, so I guess I'm gonna be alright. Yeah, but be excited for Highlander. Oh, no, yeah, we're trying Highlander uh, soon as well. <laughs> so, yeah, that's great. Yeah, let's try those two. So, that was Scream, I liked it I guess, it was definitely the best drop, uh, third best drop tower, I don't know actually, I just don't know what it would rank for me personally, it was good I guess. That was really nice. I love it. That <laughs> <laughs> well, was just not <laughs> Probably my favorite ride here. Yeah, it, it's a drop tower against, against Colossus and everything else, but uh, I love drop towers <laughs> a lot. Yeah, so... <laughs> so, yeah, but like, it's it's good. It's very intense, yeah. but like, it's... Yeah, I'm gonna say it. 
All right, the view is great. I need to say that the view is actually very great. It is. There's a lot to look over. Yeah, but like I still don't enjoy drop towers. I actually say this is one of them where I was a little bit less scared than everything else. <laughs> uh, I say the one that was still worst for me is still um, atmosphere. Atmosphere, definitely. But yeah, it was great. It was all right in the general direction. I'm gonna see what ranks someday. Mountain. That is so good. That oh, I love that. This is my first wing coast, so I don't know how those feel. It's so good. Holy shit! <laughs> I really love it. I'm just gonna take you in. look at that in there. That oh, I just love this so much. Yeah, really the the first drop up there is probably one of my favorite inversions of all time. Everything just gives hang time, which just which is just amazing. Charlie, can you come back here? I'm sorry. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Flugstea at the morning? I think it's great. It's re it's it's re it's really good. The wing the wing coast of benefits, you know, um, like the intense inversions and such. It, it's really nice. Yeah, it's like it, it it's a it's a sort of graceful ride in my opinion. But that first drop is it's a good kick in the guts. Yeah, I, I would say it's a very intense ride overall. I really love this. I have no idea where this would rank. I'm just gonna find that out later. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is definitely gonna ride high. Also the theming. The theming, the theming is, is awesome. great. I think this is my favorite theme of. Almost any coaster, maybe, I don't know about Skadoon, but uh, but yeah, it's definitely close. Yeah. But yeah, but let's see what we're gonna ride. So, a little update, we tried Flugda de Monen again on the other side though. Yeah. So, and the drop was, this time we gave hang time, this, I feel like this is very much of a variety coaster. Like, a coaster that gives so much variety, depends on where you sit. Yeah, it does. Because, and, and even... And it doesn't matter where you sit, this coaster is still amazing. Yeah. I, I, I can't tell how much, I can't tell you guys how much I love this coaster. I know if it's gonna be over Colossus or not. Uh, we're probably gonna try Colossus later, yeah. again, <laughs> to see if it's actually... If the cure's good. Yeah. Let's see what we're gonna try next, because I actually don't know, because the cures are very much lying to us. Because it says that Fluke over here has a 20 minute queue, you can see it over there. But it took us 20 minutes to try two times. <laughs> That's right. It basically took us 20 minutes to try two times, yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. So, uh, maybe Clack, 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 yeah, maybe a Big Loop over there, who knows. Oh, Big Loop, I forgot about that one. Yeah, you always do. Thank you. <laughs> this is like Probably the third time you forgot about that one. But yeah, we're just gonna see what we're gonna try next, I guess. Alright, so we just tried the free um, flat ride in the Mayan section, which yes. is La Ola. Uh, magic over there and break dance we can see right through there yeah, yeah. those that for, uh, I personally think break dance is the best one you think magic is the back yeah, one, like best one like if anyone thinks Alola Alo Alo is the best one then you're wrong um, <laughs> that, that's just how it is but it's all right I think it, I think it's one of the better uh, zero wave, wave swinger yeah but yeah sure. uh, I, I don't see anything special in it and when it comes to every other. I think the, the thing that I like the most about it is that Colossus is right, is right next to it. Yeah, it's so cool that Colossus is right there. <laughs> I haven't seen it driving though. Uh, oh yeah, it, it's, 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 going. it's going right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's great that I see it and then it's going up there. I will say that it's a great day to be here, but it's almost too hot. Like when we're out just walking, then it's almost unbearable just to walk. 
because how 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 hot it is. It's pretty hot, yeah. Yeah, it's very hot. I, it's only bearable when we're in something and trying something because but then. Thankfully, the park provides like um, a big amount of um, like like little misty sections. Yeah, that's great. The one one over at uh, Colossus and not uh, not Colossus, Krake. Uh, uh, we're, not just we're not talking about the big splash. We're talking yeah. about like there was a tiny little sprinkler, right? Yeah, next there, to there was actually a sprinkler from one of the like pallions that you could stand on. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it's really nice. But it is a great park still, and we're not gonna hold the weather accountable for the worst, the w little worst things that happen. <laughs> like you can't talk right now. Yeah. So we just tried Colossus again. Yes, we did. With the single rider line, and that happened something that I would have never expected using the single rider line. We got the same row. Yes. At the in the same train. We got the we, same. We got we train. sat beside each other, and there was just completely open row. It was so cool. It was the biggest curse and blessing at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, it we was sat we sat to the. Uh, the third row, which was great. I really loved that seat. The airtime was better. I think it was mostly because it warmed up more than, the, than anything. Mm -hmm. The drop was alright because, you know, second, uh, third row, then it, it's not gonna be extremely good, you know. Yeah, of course. Um, but uh, everything else is great. This, it was. No. Shut it. <laughs> no, it was a lot more intense this time. Beforehand, I only thought that the bottom of the. The turnaround was was like the only extreme moment on the right. But no, that every bottom of every hill in the first half mm -hmm. is so intense and it's so cool. Yeah. It, oh, it's a very good course. It like the start the, the layout reminds me of something you would build in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Hmm. Like so. it, it's very simple, but it's so good. I think I've <laughs> I don't know if that's a if that's a compliment or an insult. Yeah, but, simple uh, things are, simple things can be amazing. Yeah, but like it's not because it's bad. It's so good, and like if you guys haven't been to Heidi Park, you should definitely come here. And if not for anything else, then at least for Colossus. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, we don't know what to try next. We're just gonna go a little we're around. We're gonna let the queues decide for us. Yes. So we just tried Big Loop and holy shit that was intense. That was really good. Yeah. It's crazy how intense that thing is. Yeah. Especially the two loops. I would even maybe say that they're better than the Indiana Jones loops. Mm -hmm. I'm not percent sure yet, but I let's see about that. Yeah, I can't judge that, um, that yeah. fact of course because I haven't tried any of the bigger rides at Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> One of the big fun that have you tried. Yeah, but that yeah, good yeah, that's very good. So, um, yeah, big loop is actually great for what it is. It's like in this old Bacoma, and it's not already always that great. But like this is actually good. Yeah, just right. have to watch out. <laughs> yeah, we're just looking over at the uh, Krake over there yeah. to make sure that we are not getting wet. Mm -hmm. Even though we probably should because it's so hot today. It's a million degrees minus uh, like a million, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we don't know what we're gonna try next. We still need, uh, of course, a Krake. And we also need... Krake, Baba and uh, Screamy, Indie Blitz and... Uh, and Groot, Groot. And Groot Blitz. That's five. Yeah, five. And we also need the two water rides. But uh, uh, this is actually a, fa a thing I forgot to mention. We're actually here tomorrow as well. Oh yeah. So uh, technically, if you don't get everything today, we have another day for uh, to try everything mm -hmm. and get rewrites on both Colossus, Desert Race, Blue Light Demon, and everything basically. Yeah, and gotta say we've been goddamn effective today. Yeah, we have been very effective today. We've, like, uh, you guys have heard everything that we've tried today. And we have been super effective. And there, 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 are two, there are three hours left, it seems like. They, the rest goes at, at uh, 18, right? Yeah, 18. Alright. Um, we have three hours left. Yeah. Plenty of time. Alright, let's see what we're gonna try. Alright, we have now walked into the western section where we're gonna try Indie Bled. Because we need coaster credits. And there is no other reason than that. Alright, <laughs> he, he already got it, I just need them. Yeah. Technically, he could skip them. 
But uh, who doesn't like a good <laughs> kitty coaster? Yeah, that's true. Now we're gonna go jump over and try cold. The trains, they look so goofy. They have a big, they, they kind of a big, uh, like a of American in, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Who doesn't love uh, <laughs> children's coasters? So now we tried Desert Race again, and that is. And we tried it in the front row this time, so that, and now we found the full force of that launch. Like, it was already so forceful in the first place, but now it's just like with the wind in your face and everything. Yeah. Uh, the second hill also gave much better airtime this time. Still weak floater, or like medium floater. Not yeah. strong or anything, but like, alright floater. And the speed uh, on this ride is just I will say that the airtime, other than the second hill, I've, but I think that's mostly because it warmed up, was actually better in the back. In my opinion, I, ne I didn't focus on airtime at all. I just I just focused on the speed. That's fair enough. We are gonna next. We're gonna try Groden Blitz. Exciting. Yes. So we just tried Groden Blitz. Oh well, hey. Colossus. <laughs> yeah, Colossus. <laughs> and uh, he th this was his favorite uh, powered coaster. Yeah, easy. I will say the theming is probably the best one. Maybe except Brown. Hmm. It has basically has a dark ride section and is a dark ride. That is true. So I maybe that could top it, and I think it does. But other than that, I think this is. Uh, I don't think it's as intense as either Milkevine nor uh, Tears Family Coaster, uh, at least in the second half mm -hmm. um, or the second time it goes through. Yeah. But like, um, I really need to look through this when I put it on my list. But but uh, what do you think? I think it's a great ride. It, I, re I really love them. I really love the dark section in it. It, it and it provides such a nice breeze, especially on this yeah. super hot day. And it is super hot. Mm -hmm. Like the game. <laughs> Except that is not super hot. That is super shoot. Oh, speaking oh of, my God. I'm gonna have some. Der er ikke sådan imponerende mange mennesker i forhold til, hvor god en dag det er der. So we just tried crack, crack or something like that. Yeah. And uh, we're just in the shop here. That was actually very good, better than I expected. I can feel that the drop is not vertical. Mm -hmm. This you could feel like uh, from example Valkyria, which we have tried. Yeah. You can feel like the ejector airtime coming off of that. You can't really do that. Hey, it's at best strong floater. The Evil Man is actually very good, I like it. It's very like, floaty, very hang timey yeah, up at is. the top. So yeah, it's it's very good, it's nothing good. The hill though, I like it's the one that surprised me the most. I just was out of my seat the entire way through, which is great. Yeah. And nothing to uh, complain about that. Definitely not as good as Valkyria, but uh, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, not as good as Valkyria, but it, amazing ride regardless. Yeah, of um, course. It, and um, if it has something to, to, um, that's better than Valkyria, it is easily the theme. Yeah, definitely. Like if, like I, I, I like the North mythology theme, mm -hmm. though. Like, I did. It, it's kind yeah, of. Yeah, cool. the theme is the theme is great for. But the th the thing is just that um, um, like dive coasters and things to drop into, like giant yeah. or something. That that that's just perfect. Yes, exactly. So uh, we don't really know what's gonna try. It's either gonna be fluke, it's gonna be maybe bobbing over there, maybe screaming on the other side of that thing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, who knows? We only have four rides left. Um, four, four big rides that we want, or four rides that we prioritize. Yeah. And two of them are water rides, which yeah, has like so long queues. Yeah. 
which I don't know if we're gonna try today, but uh, hopefully we can because it's super hot and it is. it is supposed to rain tomorrow, so mm -hmm. I don't know about that. But yeah, we just see what we're gonna try next. So I just came off, looked at the morning from the third time, and this ride is still great. I uh, we got the single rider line, so Charlie is not with me as of right now. I don't know if he's still in the single rider. It doesn't look like it. But yeah, I sat in the front row at uh, that side over there, which was absolutely great. That first drop gave so good hang time in the front row, and which is great. It, it, even on the inner seats, I can't imagine what the outer seat actually feels like, man. Because that would be absolutely amazing if the inner seat gives so much hang time. Well, I'm gonna wait for Charlie now to get back, and we're probably gonna go over to Screamy over beside Scream over there and hopefully pop in afterwards. All right, we just tried bobbin. All right, you know how many coasters, they're not very intense. They're in general not very good, but like you just like them because they're fun. Yeah, that's one of these coasters. Yeah, Bobbin is definitely that. It's so fun. It is so extremely fun. It does have a unique element to it. I could say. We could say. It, it has a lot of rattle. It and, has. And a, it's, it's worse than the SLC. Yeah. I, I would personally call it worse than the SLC. Yeah, I, I, that, makes, that makes sense, but it's a fun rattle. I, f I think it almost adds to the, to the coast, actually, the rattle yeah, from Bobbin. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, this is so good. I really like Bobbin. It's so good. And I really enjoy it. Yeah. Like, much more than I already intended that I would. And I already intended to like this a whole lot. But, like, this was unexpected. This was great. It was. And again, just like Cotton Blitz, it has a really great dark section where it goes really yeah, fast. Yeah, also that. But, like, some after the first break run, there's, like, this twisty section where it just keeps, like, basically doing us laterals and just like whipping us to the side is so good yeah. that is a must do for this park 100% the best family coast in this park yeah easy so you uh, put it over Groden Blitz uh, we'll see about that <laughs> bro <laughs> oh scream oh yes well let's see what we're gonna try next we still need two rides which is the two water rides yeah. which we probably should have done by yeah. now because it's so hot but you know, not everything can happen. And In one uh, day. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can at least get over to the mountain rafting. Now. So uh, we just tried th that thing right there, something. And you, you really I, love it, don't you? Oh, I legit. I, when you try it, when you're on the ride and it's everything, going. and it's going around, it's cycle, it's not that bad. When you're just laying there, waiting for it to start, My lungs or at formed. the end, it's just so uncomfortable as hell. It's so annoying. I really don't want ever to ever try that again. I'm, I'm getting used to standing up again. I will say it was very nice and very cool attraction and it, when it, we it, were it, going. It's nice enough. It's nice enough. Yeah, it is good enough. But like when when we're not going, then it's. Probably, probably one also of the not really the target audience. Yeah, I know. But like, when it's not going, it's probably one of the worst flat rides I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? All right, that was mountain rafting. Oh, that, that was great. That was really good. That was three, absolutely. Three wave machines and. Uh, yeah, uh, that went quiet. I, I love the feeling for this. This yeah. may be one of my favorite rapids of all time. Yeah. Maybe even one of the best. Uh, I won't say it's better than Flume because Flume is legendary and it's Flume just is. so much better. Yeah, Flume is legendary. Yeah, yeah, Flume is better. Hashtag Flume is better. <laughs> so that's just facts now. Yeah. But yeah, it's a great uh, river rafting. It's at least in my top two. I don't know if it's my number one or number two or yet. I haven't got to find that out. I don't know if I will make a like public water park, water ride ranking but uh, if I do then you can see I guess you can see it there 
Well, I think we're gonna go to over to Colossus now. Colossus. Uh, we'll just take the queues on. Uh, uh, exactly. On the Wildwasserbahn, uh, possibly. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, maybe. Because the queue times have been very sketch. There was yeah, one that's time true. where I was going into. Um, uh, I think it's that way. There was one time where we were going into Flug der Moon, um, and it said zero, zero minutes. We went into it, it took at least, at least 30 minutes. And funnily enough, as soon as we went in, the queue times changed to 30 minutes. Great. Wouldn't, wouldn't you believe it? Well, yeah, we're gonna go over to that, and if that has a long queue, then we're probably gonna. Uh, go over to Colossus, oh. and if it doesn't have a long queue, then we're gonna try it and go over to Colossus afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so, after two more rides on Colossus back there, we have finally gotten the last of our rides. We are gonna be back tomorrow. I don't know if this is gonna be a vlog where I, where I guess I actually can uh, put everything together and. Uh, make a full vlog of both two days and then a separate one for Hansa Park or if um, we need to have two separate vlogs. We're gonna find that out. We'll see. That depends on how much I'm gonna record tomorrow because it's basically just rewrites. Yeah, and also, Except, and also we, got, we gotta make sure that you have enough, enough space on your phone, of course. Yeah, <laughs> uh, my phone is a little bit down on space right now. I don't know how, I don't know why. But, but yeah, we, it's, that's how we're gonna roll. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that was everything for today. Either see you in the next video I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we are back at Heidi Park for day two. What do you think, Charlie? Um, I think that we're back at Heidi Park for day two. That is right. We are gonna start off with Wild Wasserbahn, hopefully, and see how well that goes. Beat the queue times. Yeah, hopefully. And then we're probably gonna jump over to maybe Ghostbusters, actually. Uh, we're, we're probably gonna try, but I, I've tried it before. It wasn't. It wasn't really for me. I can tell that. I. I I just hope it's better than both Spider-Man and uh, especially Ninjago the Ride. <laughs> Exciting stuff. And it's really things that make like that that make the park lively and stuff. This park is just great in general, so much which is great. I can't wait to ride some of the best attractions again. It's gonna be so cool. But I got my list made yesterday, and uh, yeah, you guys have to wait to the end of the year to see it. But there is a few surprises for that, especially with two rides. Yeah, I've got that little preview. He is not lying. Yeah, there is some surprises there. But yeah, we're gonna go right back after we tried the Wasserbahn. So, we just tried the Lock Flume. Yes, we did. And I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was experience. so cool. Like, that is definitely one of my favorite flumes. Not better than Flume Ride from Lucerberg. That's impossible. Yeah, that's very hard. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Very, very good. Anyway, because that, oh, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. it, we didn't get like extremely wet on it. No, but we, we got missed. We got, we yeah. got cooled down. Oh, I, 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 still, I, I got a sp small bit of wet. Small, small bit of wet. <laughs> kind of. I, I got, I, I got, I got a little wet on the, the big splash. And yeah, other than that, we didn't really. That wasn't much. But it was a very cool ride, and definitely one of the best lock flumes I've tried. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Better, better than I remember, honestly. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, we're gonna try Ghostbusters now, okay. because that, that one we haven't tried yet, so... Yeah. Uh, and I need another dark ride credit. <laughs> so let's go, Ghostbusters 3D. Let's go. For 5D. So, we just tried Ghostbusters. 5D? Yeah, 5D. I and really want you to keep my camera to focus. Thank you. Yeah, we just tried Ghostbusters 5D. That was great. I really love that. It's not my favorite. Um, it's not my favorite dark ride. Like, it's, as, it's yeah, nowhere good. near uh, Pirate of the Caribbean, which is my favorite ride of all time, even. Fair enough. <laughs> but, um, but, like, what it does, it's great. I really enjoyed it. Pretty good. And it is definitely way better than both Spider-Man and uh, and uh, Ninjago the Ride, especially Ninjago the Ride. I 
you guys should know that I hated I, that ride I too much. I have never, uh, I've never been on Ninjago, the, uh, the Ninjago Dark ride, but I, I can't, I can't imagine. Like, I've not been hearing great things about it ever. Nah, no, it's, it's very bad. Hey, stay puffed, marshmallow man. That's great. Well, we're gonna just gonna try to see what we're gonna hit next. I think maybe desert race because it's right there. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. And uh, then probably some more baby colossus afterwards. We I, today is just a day of free rides. Day so of re um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're just gonna have some fun and just try a lot of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we we'll see you right when next time. All right, we've just tried a lot of new stuff. We have tried two times Colossus. We didn't try Desert Race at all, actually. Uh, and we tried Boban once more, which is still great as ever. And we tried Scream, and we tried Fluke at the Moon. Yeah. We are probably going over to mountain rafting now to try that, because that is great rafting, yeah. in my opinion. And uh, everything else has like a very long queue, but like, there's some of them we probably could have, go have on. Oh yeah, we have told them about uh, Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, Ghostbusters, yeah. Ghostbusters is great. It was fine. It was really good. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, we see Kraki right there. We need to go over to the other side. Maybe Choo -choo. we will... What? Choo-choo. Yeah, Choo-choo. <laughs> Maybe we'll find some uh, other attractions here or there. We maybe can try. He, he, he kind of wants to get up on his... 50th uh, flat ride credit. Oh yeah, that's right. So uh, then we maybe should do that and go and try Bounty or something. I can also get a credit on that. Yeah. Who knows? And our cock is going again. But yeah, we'll see what we're gonna try next, and then we're gonna come. Right. All right, we just tried Drakengrotte, Drakengrotte, something like that. Drakengrotte. That that sounded very Swedish. I'm sorry. That's an insult. Okay, anyways, guys. The one I said. Oh. Uh, I think you're talking water. Talking water? Yeah. Okay. That sounded uh, German. Uh, but yeah, That's we just German. tried it. It's very short. I'm almost a little bit disappointed of the length, but like, in general, it's a fun ride and it has all right theming. I wish it could be a little bit better though. This, this one was all right. That was also the first for you. What do you think? Um, I, I think it's nice. I'm not, I'm not, the, bi I'm not the biggest. Um, I'm not the most certified critic on uh, on dark rides or just like calm rides in general, um, but um, it, it it was a fun experience. I can, I can say that much. Yeah. Uh, if I if I was a kid who watched How to Train Your Dragon, yeah, maybe. Not. I would have loved this ride. Yeah, How to Train Your Dragon is a great movie. Everyone telling you to watch it. Yeah, it is a very great movie. I think you should watch it someday. Perhaps I should. But uh, yeah, the ride in general is great, but like it is maybe a little too short to make it. One of the best dog rides. Right now, I think it's like a worse short version of. It reminds me a lot of the short version of Pirat Boon at Legoland in Bilund because they're very similar. It starts outside with some sure scenes out there and it goes inside with some sure scenes in there and it goes outside of the last. Yeah. Last. But like that, Pirat Boon is much larger than. Um, and it has, has a bit Pirat, more wow yeah. factor. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a great ride either way, and uh, yeah. let's try mountain rafting next. So we just got something to eat. I am alone right now because Charlie wanted to try scream again, and I was in, I was eating, so I couldn't really. Just got some. I got something over from the scream uh, food stand over there. 
Good guy, the morning is on this way again. But uh, I'm trying to get one of those hot dogs from over beside uh, the Immelman of uh, Kragel. Which I've heard they should be good from him. But yeah, we're just gonna move on with the day, uh, which is actually great. Like, mountain rafting is great, and so many of these uh, other attractions, like Crack over there, or Fugge de Monen, right there, and Poppen on the other side there. These, the, many of these are so great, and also Scream, that's probably the, the most possible drop top I've ever tried. This is crazy, I still don't know how they do that. But like, other, it's crazy. I love this park so much and I can't recommend it to you guys much more than I already have. So everybody, we have just, I have been on Fluke while uh, Charlie was on, um, on the screen over there, over there behind it, the lamp. And uh, the flurry is completely dead. It's like there's nothing more than all this. This is all the QS right now, which is great. That means I can just uh, sort of marathon this as much as I can, which is great because it's one of my favorite costumes in the park, just behind Colossus. I really love this ride. It's crazy. And then it has such a short queue like this. Like I'm right behind this, and that's where the queue stops. So uh, yeah, I just gotta rewrite this more. Charlie, we're doing something stupid. What are we doing? We are trying Toxic Garden again, and we're doing it on the back road this time. Yeah, back road, Toxic Gardens. That's only a recipe for disaster. Yeah, well, anywhere on Toxic Gardens, really, but yeah. <laughs> but it's a very intense coaster, and I really want to try it again, yeah. because it's actually well, brand new. What have we been doing? Being stupid? We have, well... No, we haven't tried Toxic Garden yet. Um, we, Not today. Not today, no. Um, but, um... We, we, we've I've had a bunch of rides on Scream and he's had a bunch of rides on Fluke at the Moon and Bob yeah, I The actually, operations I actually have. on Scream today are horrible. Yeah, I actually didn't say that, though, but the operation is very bad on Scream. Like, it, today, yesterday it was Big Loop, which I don't think we actually said, mm -hmm. and today it's Scream. Yeah. I don't know about what Big Loop's operations are today because we haven't actually been over at, uh, at Big Loop, mm -hmm. but uh, we're probably going to do that later. Maybe, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my last um, rides in on Scream. So I'm up to so, so I'm up at ten rides, and then you can get your last rides in at Blue. So you can be at ten rides at Blue. Yeah, I, I so I need two rides, and this is the first time I've been here. Yeah, I need three rides. <laughs> yeah, the first drop on Blue is so great. Yeah, I also really like the first drop on Scream. It's really good. I really hope that they can hear <laughs> this, but like it's great. So um, yeah, that went like hell. That hurt like a shit ton more than it did yesterday. Those, I don't know what the f happened at those inline twists. What the hell, dude? It was so stupid how much it hit bang me through those inline twists. I need Charlie to give his thoughts. There he is. Um, what is your thoughts? Oh, we need to go the other way. I don't know what happened at those inline twists. <laughs> But, and 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 another place like right after the sidewinder. Yeah, that right, was that was. Inline twist right there. Yeah, the, those two moments are probably the two worst moments of the ride. The inline twist and the 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 turn after the sidewinder. Right. With my experience with be, with drink with drinking alcohol, it feels like drinking uh, about three vodka shots, three Jaeger bombs, one bottle of Wunderberg, and um, um, what what what's that thing that kills you? I don't know. I don't know either. Well, that's how it feels. <laughs> Cyanide. All right then. Well, that, that was Toxic Garden back row. <laughs> that uh, was extremely yeah. painful, and I'm uh, definitely not doing it Front back row. Front row ride for sure. Yeah, definitely. But not a good ride ever. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good ride either way. But like, <laughs> it is very much better front row. But it, if you want to torture yourself, you can do back row. It, oh yeah. Uh, it, it's Let's a, it's take very Bakum and made torture machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is just great marketing. You can marketing of that. Yeah. What's up, bro? Hey, uh, What's up? <laughs> What's up? Yeah, yeah definitely. Of course, of course. I don't really have any money actually right now. Well, you see how how he lose. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I would, but I actually don't have any money on me. I do not. I, I do not either. What? Two games, which is actually I'm probably actually gonna try. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> uh, you, you decide. I'm, not, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> For video, come to me. Yeah. Video. All right. For the for the oh, video. Yeah, nice. yes. hey. Hey. Oh, Johnny. Up, we just tried <laughs> yeah. Toxic Garden and I'm hurting. <laughs> Have a nice day. Nice yeah, you too.
Yeah, uh, that was great. I love that. Yeah, that was hashtag good. good employees. Yeah, there needs to be more good employees. Good, good employees standing next to the Vacoma breaking thingy. Yeah, Vacoma breaking thingy. The uh, head, head, Vacoma headbreaker. Hey, big blue. Oh, yeah. Dead. If you need to try to like a garden, at least do it in the front row. If you want, if you want to have the best ride possible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you waved to the camera. <laughs> oh, I love filming in oh, theme parks. Well, yeah, we're probably gonna jump over to maybe Colossus, Big Loop, something like that. You're having some great ideas right now. Yeah, I have some great ideas right now. I think Colossus is a great uh, way to do this right now. Yeah. Yeah, we see you over there. So, we just tried Fluke de Demon in like we always did, but in this time we did it another another way. We did it in the rain. Yeah. Which hurt like hell. I couldn't even have my eyes open. It wasn't as bad as I thought, honestly. Uh, I don't know about that, but yeah, like I couldn't have, I couldn't have my eyes open the entire time. Yeah. Hopefully, I can finally get on Bobbin again because I love Bobbin. And Bobbin is great. Bobbin is greatness. It's good for you. I hope Scream opens soon because it. It does seem promising. They've, they've like yeah, screaming scream so close. They've, they've been like doing a few test runs. Yeah. And I've, I've come to. It's so sad that it's closed, but hopefully it'll open soon. They even right. put like a little, little like temporary fence around it. So, so yeah, now we're gonna try. So I just tried Bob on a few times here. Charlie didn't go on after the first one. And it was great. Bobman is just a great ride. Maybe you can call me a Bob and Sim. I don't care. I love Bob and Bob and is great. He's still on with Scream, so I don't know if it's open yet. I haven't seen it go, but uh, hopefully for him it has. So he hasn't just done that while I just tried it again. Well, no worries. We're gonna, we're gonna go over to him now, and we are gonna have a little fun time. He's hopefully he has tried Scream. If he hasn't, then we're gonna wait for him. And hopefully he's gonna try the last on white ride on Fructa de Monin. And a few more times on Colossus because uh, the park is actually closing in one hour. So yeah. Scream. Yeah, so we're gonna see you right now. So just tried Scream, now we're trying Fructa de Monin for the last time so I can get 10 rides. Uh, in total, I've tried this ride 10 times both uh, today and tomorrow after this one. And now you can also see some of the queue with me. I don't know if you have seen that yet. You haven't. But now you can see it. It's a great queue. Uh, until, until we come up there. But yeah. Whee. Ooh. It's great. I love this queue. I love this ride. It's great all the way. I have no idea what that, all that says. Yeah, let's try Fluke another time. So that was all for today, for this video. It was really nice. Yeah. This park is awesome. This, ride, this park is very much awesome. So let's just go through a little bit of the rides that we've been through. Um, goes to. Let's start with Colossus. Okay, um, yeah, Coloss Colossus is sick. I, I love Colossus. It, yeah. It's huge, intimidating, and yeah. it's over there. Yeah, it's <laughs> so great. Like. Colossus is so good. It has such great airtime. It has crushing positive G's, but probably mm -hmm. the best positive G's in the entire park. Yeah, if you if you want if you want positive G's and the uh, speed, I recommend the front. If you want raw, perfect, unfiltered airtime, just sit in the back. I would say I would actually say it depends on where you want airtime. Like the front, also. if you want airtime on the few last hills, then the front is be per perfectly better than the than the back. But if you want the uh, best air jump on the drop and the big hills, then the bag is better. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, then there's Desert Race. Desert Race is sick. I, but just like Colossus, it, it, um, it, it, has an, it has an awesome launch. It, best launch I've ever experienced. I haven't experienced that many launches. Yeah. Oh, then, then, and then we're trying Fluke for Novgorod tomorrow. Yeah, and I've heard great things about that recently. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, I think it has great air time and some good posture. It's probably the best in the second best in the park. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, and then there's the launch, which is just great. Okay, I want to hear your opinion on Scream now. The Scream, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as I said earlier in the video or uh, in the other video, 
Uh, depends on if I could squeeze all this in in one video. Um, then I am afraid of drop towers like hell. But like that was probably the one I was least scared about, other than the uh, atmosphere. Uh, no, other no, than no, no not other than atmosphere. No. Other than uh, torn grease at yeah. Bakken. Um, but it is so forceful. It's crazy. I don't know how they make it forceful. That is the thing I want to know. But yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have uh, Kake. 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 Yeah, let's just say Kake. Um, it, short ride, but so, yeah, it, very short. It, it's really cool. Yeah, it, it's very good. The filming brings it up so bad. Yeah, exactly. Damage. Like it, it has some other, like just like him, it has some awesome imagery with yeah. with um like the boat just being like twisted from the soul force of the um of the tentacles and just and you can only see the mouth of the kage and it, and that only and that mouth you can see is yeah that that's so cool doing. it's so good. freaking cool honestly like the the first drop is so good it's not as good as the Korea, of course because it's not 100 percent the diagonal uh, and then um, there is the Immelman, which is also very good, and the floater air time mill is great. You're out of your seat all the way through. I won't say it's strong floater or anything, but it's great. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and then yeah. again, the feeling is great. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have Fluke. Yeah, Fluke. I can't say enough good about that one. I love it to bitch. One of the uh, one of the best variety coasters we've tried. Yeah, probably. legit. If you sit on any seat, you will get a different ride experience. And and they're all awesome. All yeah. the all the experiences are all are awesome. But of course, more intense ride, you should probably sit on the outer outer seat. But yeah. it doesn't matter that much. Yeah. Then there is we need to, we have three more, which is Bob and Toxic Gardens and Big Loop. Which one do you want to start with? <laughs> Toxic Garden. Toxic Garden. Much head banging. Very intense ride, but. At the end of the day, it's all right. It looks really cool. It, it looks very it cool. Looks, it looks and the feeling awesome. is great. The feeling is great, and it has some sick shapes to it. Yeah. Just like kind, kind of like Kage, but yeah. Yeah. And then there is a uh, big loop. A uh, big loop. The uh, two first loops. They're sweet. They're, they are they're so sick. good. Um, I love the two first loops. It, it feels it feels classic. It's a very picturesque coaster, and adds to the um, the yeah, environment of to the to Heidi Park. Yeah, and, and the whole Heidi Park vibe as well. Yeah. I hope that's a coaster that will stick around for a much longer time because it's such a big part of the park. It is. And then the uh, last ride, which Bob, is... Bob Van. You, I want you to talk about that one. Yeah, I love Bob Van, as you might already know. Bob Van is greatness. I love Bob Van so much. It is in my top 25, even my top 20, and even my top 15, actually. Mm -hmm. I just love Bobbin so much. It's just fun. That is all I can say about it. Yeah. It's but just fun. Bit too, bit too readily for me, bit too uncomfortable seats, but other than that, the layout is really is really good and long. Yeah, and there is some good positives there as well. Yeah. But yeah, that is all for this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, then please leave it a like. And if you want to see more co Pody and Coaster content, then please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when and if I upload a new video because I have not been good at that the last half a year. Subscribe now, I dare you. <laughs> but yeah, or else come to Heidi Park, it's great, it's beautiful, it has some yeah. great attractions. It's so Or else there's nothing fantastic. else to see you say but bro hoof, see ya.